is the Florida Man Funny with Bolio on Power 106. And it's about 10 minutes right before 8 o'clock. Good morning to you. Good morning to you, Ben. Good morning to you, sir. Bye. It's definitely Friday, isn't it? Oh my goodness. So is that the end of our week or just we're just getting started? Well you've got you've got uh you got a little gig tomorrow night. Yeah, I got a little gig tomorrow over at Diablos. Yeah. I have baseball all day long tomorrow. So yeah, you don't get a weekend. No. <laughs> and Sunday, baseball Sunday. <sighs> so it's gonna be fun times. The hardest hardest working man in Lubbock right now. Yeesh. I don't get paid for baseball though. No, but it's the it's the enjoyment of it. It's oh, the, yeah, the, the gratitude, the gratitude. That's all that matters. <laughs> well, if nothing else, I've got a couple things that'll make you laugh. Uh, May, might, might make you realize that, hey, you know what? Your life is pretty darn good right now. I bet it is. Let's hear it. Well, we got a great one here. A Florida man is facing multiple charges after allegedly slapping the employees of his reptile shop with a bearded dragon lizard. <laughs> I don't even want to know exactly how that works, but Ben Siegel, the owner of Ben Siegel Reptiles, boy, what a creative name for a business, was arrested Friday after being caught on surveillance footage placing the live lizard <laughs> in his mouth. I, I don't, maybe he likes lizards. Those are pretty big, aren't they? I mean, they're not, unless he was getting the smaller version ones, but I, I've seen them. Like, they're big. Pretty good size. I just want to know how he got it in his mouth, but that's a story for another day. Uh, then he started hitting his employees with it multiple times, according to a sheriff's report. 40-year-old can also be allegedly seen on tape, and I'll have a link to that in the YouTube uh, episode coming up later today. You can see him swinging the reptile around and around and throwing Gatorade on the employees. He was charged with battery and cruelty of, to animals. But here's the best part. The condition of the lizard is unclear. So maybe the lizard's like intensive, lizard intensive care. He broke his tail. Yeah. Well, grow back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, the advice for today, kids, don't swing lizards at people. Please, please, please don't do that. Uh, but this one, I think, is our winner of the week. Florida man reportedly dances on police car to summon help <laughs> in a vampire battle. Authorities in Florida have released bizarre video footage. Once again, we'll have a link to that because the footage is hilarious. Of a man dancing on the roof of a police cruiser in an attempt to summon help battling a woman with fangs. In the video, which authorities released on Wednesday, the man can see pulling up behind a police cruiser parked at a home owned by a sergeant with the Lee County Sheriff's Office. So there was your first mistake right there. You're doing this in the driveway of a sheriff's deputy. I mean, come on. But here's the best part. Uh, out of the car, you can hear the song Rich Girl by Hall & Oates playing as he climbs atop the cruiser and begins gyrating to the 1970s Top 40 hit. And then he uh, followed by Supertramp's uh, Goodbye Stranger. So if y'all ever, I know everybody's heard that song at least a thousand times, probably just this morning alone. And apparently uh, he's no longer entertained by his own dancing. He moves to the hood of the vehicle and immediately rips the windshield wipers backward, breaking one of the lever arms. And then he crossed the street, grabbed an American flag from a neighboring home, waved it around before he was taken into custody. And then it became even more bizarre when the police questioned the man. According to the affidavit that police filed, he said he was prompted to break out into his dance after he was scared away from his home by a woman with fangs. I think that's kind of a common occurrence, though. It must have been his wife, maybe. Chupacabras? Mm -hmm. Same difference. You're right. <laughs> Man allegedly said the woman was threatening him, and he believed a human sacrifice was about to occur involving vampires. The fanged woman's actions caused him to seek out the sheriff of Nottingham <laughs> to help him stop with the slaughter of small children. Those drugs in Florida are something else. And don't get me wrong, I'm not your father. There's nothing wrong with Florida. It's just some of the people that live there. So go to Florida, go visit Florida, but just, you know, if you see guys with dragons in their mouths and people gyrating to songs and screaming about vampires, for all, for just run. You know, when Deborah went to Walt Disney World, she didn't come back with any crazy stories. Well, it's Disney. Disney's its own brand of crazy. And it's probably its own city. It is. Disney World. Paradise, Florida. The city that Disney built. Ah, but that's that's that. Be sure to check us out on YouTube. We'll have a link on our Facebook page, Power 106.5 Lubbock. Ah, and that's 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 enough crazy for one day. I can't wait to see the videos. Don't go anywhere. We're six minutes away from 8 o'clock in the morning. Good morning.